After two long years of hard work, the novel foods regulation, which was going through the European Parliament, has collapsed in disarray. We have had to go into what's called a conciliation procedure, where the Parliament, the European Council and the European Commission failed to reach agreement. Representatives from each of these institutions gather together in what's called a conciliation committee and attempt to thrash out a compromise. In the case of Novel Foods, if such a compromise couldn't be found by the end of March, the whole thing collapsed. In fact, that's exactly what happened. The conciliation committee, which I attended, met at 8 o'clock on a Monday evening. Uh, we presented the Council and the Commission with our uh, latest revised proposal. At 2 o'clock in the morning, they rejected our revised proposal, and we went back into another meeting and started to revise the proposal yet again. At 6.45 on the Tuesday morning, uh, the whole thing broke up with half the members sound asleep uh, in disarray because there was no agreement. The European uh, Council of Ministers refused to accept the uh, proposal from the Parliament. I had warned that this would happen. Uh, there was a lot of good stuff in the Novel Foods Regulation and unfortunately that has all been lost now and we have to fall back on the existing status quo, which is the 1997 regulation on novel foods, which is a bit of a mishmash of uh, old and outdated regulation. For instance, things like kiwi fruit, unbelievably, back in 97, was regarded as a novel food, and anyone selling kiwi fruit would have to get a special license and fill in a whole lot of bureaucratic forms to enable them to do so. That would have been tidied up in the new regulation. We've lost all that and we're back to the old uh, 97 kiwi fruit regulation, which is crazy. And all of this was lost because of a logjam that occurred over cloning. Now, the parliament had voted that they don't like cloning. The citizens of Europe have a right to know if they are buying food products meat, milk or dairy products that have come from cloned livestock. But the Parliament produced uh, a proposal that said there should be full traceability and labelling of all cloned products even for four generations from the original cloned animal. Now we already know because we import a lot of uh, meat and dairy products from countries like America and Argentina where they have no regulation where their scientists have said that eating cloned products is completely safe. We know that a lot of this material has already entered the EU. In Scotland, we know that there is a dairy farm with 90 milking cows, which are directly descended from uh, cloned bulls, where the original uh, clones were imported from America. That means the milk, the cheese, the butter, the ice cream, that is entering the food chain from these 90 cows is uh, from the direct descendants of cloned animals and would have to be labelled as such. But it also means that the uh, milk, cheese, uh, dairy products of any kind from the offspring of these 90 cows, from their calves or even for the next three generations will also have to be traced and labelled in order that the citizens know what they are buying. There is no scientific way that you can achieve this unless you do DNA tests because by its very nature cloning produces an exact replica of the original animal and when you have an exact replica their cellular structure is identical. The only way you can test is doing a DNA sample of the original animal and then tracing by DNA sampling every single offspring, apparently, uh, as the Parliament required, for four generations. This would put an incredible burden on our consumers, on our producers. Costs would rise, bureaucracy would escalate. Imagine trying to do a DNA test on uh, a pound of butter that you'd bought in Asda or Tesco's to see if it came from a cloned animal. It's just ludicrous. 
Now, I warned during the conciliation meeting, I warned that this was heading for disaster, that the Council of Ministers would never accept it, and nevertheless, they uh, insisted, completely inflexible, on leaving in the uh, requirement for offspring for four generations uh, to be labelled, and as a result, as I predicted, the whole thing collapsed in disarray at 6.45 in the morning, and now two years' work has been lost, and we are back to scratch. I think uh, now that the Parliament is trying to show that it is a big, responsible, legislative body, uh, proud to have achieved the Lisbon Treaty, I think it has flunked its very first test, and the uh, Novel Foods Regulation is a sad reflection on just how it has flunked that test.